welcome back to Nick in China. I am on my holidays now, I'm very excited. I left Xi'an yesterday uh, on the train, took the high speed train to a city called Zunyi, which is where I am right now, in northern Guizhou province. It was about seven hours on the train, which when you know how fast high speed trains are in China, gives you some idea of how far away I went. Mainly it's um, it was it's through mountains a whole way from Xi'an here and this is a very mountainous part of China I'm in southern China um, but man what a journey beautiful views all the way on the train and now I'm here um, just having a little look around there's a few places here I want to look at before I head further south into the province like I said I plan on being in the province for say three or four weeks maybe so I've got a lot of time a lot of things to see a lot of things to do and hopefully I can show you something interesting and pretty cool. So the reason uh, that this place is so famous and in, in modern China is because of what was called the Zun'i Conference and that took place in 1935 as part of the Long March with the, that was the communists uh, retreating from the nationalists who were pursuing them across China and they met in this city and uh, the results of that meeting basically had a huge impact upon well, China as we know it today. So when the party leaders met here, um, it was after they had, had several pretty bad defeats at the hands of the nationalists. And there was a lot of, within the party there was a lot of kind of dissatisfaction with the leadership. So a bunch of people spoke at this meeting here in Zuni, notably uh, Zhou Enlai spoke and actually accepted res some responsibility for it. Um, and perhaps more importantly, uh, Mao Zedong gave a speech and heavily criticised the leadership and basically said that the results of you know, the, these losses that they suffered were their fault and uh, no one else's. And after this, you know, his, his speech was very well received by the Politburo and the other members of the, 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 other members of the conference. And after that, that really began the rise of Mao Zedong to the head of the party. So after Mao gave his speech, um, his power grew a lot in the in the in the party, and continued to over the re remainder of the uh, the long march. The long march actually finished in a city called Yan'an, which is um, just north of where I live, Xi'an. Um, also a very famous place, especially these days. Um, and I said there's a lot of flags here, as you can see, and that's because of you know the, what happened here. But also because a week ago, just over a week ago, um, on the 1st of July, it was 100, the 100th anniversary of the founding of the, uh, the, the Communist Party of China. And a lot of these places have become like, very big tourist sites. Um, call it red, red tourism, red tourism. Bit of modern history, I don't normally touch modern history on my channel, I'm more interested in the ancient side of Chinese history, but nevertheless it's very 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 important, um, particularly to, to people here. Beautiful eh, look at this. In the middle of the city, the whole city is around, I think it's called the, uh, the Phoenix Mountain Park. This is it. And um, right on the top there's a big tower, the Phoenix Tower, um, or the Phoenix Pavilion. God, it's really hot and sweaty. It looks like a decent climb. Shall I take you up there? Shall we go? Okay, screw it. Let's go. All right, this is the entrance. I have a feeling this is going to be a very, very steep, sweaty walk. Let's go. Wow, what, what a maniac. <laughs> this is definitely not the right way. Oh. There's no one here. Um, I can hear someone playing some instrument though, it sounds quite nice. 
Sounds very Chinese. <laughs> um, I'm not entirely sure which way I'm going. There aren't any signs here pointing the way to the actual tower. But it's quite beautiful. It's quite crazy. This is in the middle of the city. It's also getting a little bit late. It's past six o'clock now, but I think I'll have time to get up and down before the sun goes down, I hope. And then I'll need a beer. Wherever you go in China, there's always an old bloke playing in Arhu. <laughs> Just met two other guys, um, local guys, who are also walking up to the to the tower, and um, they said they just saw a snake. It's exciting. We'll see. Maybe I'll see some. Maybe they were lying to me. I don't know. <laughs> Getting hot, by the way. This is a effing hot walk. Sweating profusely. To be honest, all it means is I need to drink three, four, five, six nice cold beers later to sort myself out. <laughs> Sun's getting real low. It's quite a nice walk though. I mean, this place is huge. I mean, I saw it on the map. It's right in the middle of the city. The whole city is around this mountain. Um, very blessed to have this. There's so many paths and ways to go. I'm trying to stick on the main path now just so I don't waste time. There is a main path that goes all the way to the top. Um, quite a few were walking up here as well. Apparently I just met those two guys who saw a snake again. Real nice guys. Uh, they just left. They, they, they walk, they're walking down now. But um, they said that if you go to the top of here uh, evening, nighttime, it's packed full of people because the view of the city is really nice. So yeah, looking forward to it. Let's see. Tower emerges finally. This was an hour long, very sweaty walk. This is Feng Huang Lo. Feng Huang is Phoenix. This means tower or pavilion, maybe. I'm hot, very hot. Could do with a drink. I hope there's someone selling drinks up here. As if by magic, I can see a fridge. Oh, oh yeah. Ah, life come unto me. Right, let's see if we can get in this tower. I don't know if we can, I actually don't think we can get in, to be honest. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. We have walked all this way after all. Hmm. There is a lift inside this tower to the top. Amazing. <laughs> and the, the lift music is Massive Attack. View. Holy moly. That is something that. Pretty nice, sun's just going down. Well worth the walk. What great view. Oh, lovely breeze as well, really cooling down. Well, I think we're gonna head back down, uh, back down to the city, find somewhere to have a drink, have a little walk around, see what's going on. Um, worth the walk. Is that an animal? What is that noise? Crazy. Right, I'm heading back down the mountain. I don't know if I look red, by the way, or sunburned. If I do, it's because I am sunburned. 
Um, this will be the this will be the first. Um, <laughs> this is so loud. Hang on, I'll wait and I'll tell you later. All right, seems like they've stopped making that weird noise. Um, yeah, this is going to be the first video in my uh, in my Guajo videos. I'm going to try and make them. Well, I'm going to try and make quite a lot of videos for this trip. I think usually I'm a bit conservative with how many videos I make, but whatever. I'm going to try and produce more, show you more things. Anyway. This will be the first video you see, however, um, the second video, I actually filmed it earlier today and got very sunburned. Um, it's a place just outside of Zun'i, which you'll see in the next video. Um, so yeah, if you are wondering why I'm very red, if I look very red, that is why. So basically, these video se this video series is going to be, you know, like a Christopher Nolan movie. Time frame's all messed up, man. And probably has people walking backwards in it because, you know, we're in China. Told you it was like a Christopher Nolan movie. Told you. <laughs> well, it got dark pretty quick. I'm, uh, I'm around the other side of the city, around the north of the city, around the north of the big mountain thing I was just in. And um, I found on the map, there's a tap room in this place. So I'm going to have a look. Hopefully I can get a nice pint of cold beer. We'll see. Anyway, on my way there now. I am tired. Oh, there is a tap room. Amazing. Oh, finally. pretty good. I'm hot, I'm going to drink a few beers, um, try and cool myself down a little bit and then I think I'm going to have to head back home because I'm, I'm leaving tomorrow. I'm heading to another place so I've got an early morning bus. It's quite a ways, about four or five hours. Um, so I'm going to sign off there. Hope you enjoyed the video. More on the way. I'm going to try and do these videos. I'm going to upload them as quick as I can. Obviously that totally depends on the quality of my Wi-Fi, <laughs> but I'll see what I can do. Anyway, until next time, guys, take care. Bye-bye.